a boy dog, it's a little bit different than for a girl dog. Boys, where their pee comes out of is kind of like where a belly button would be. So there's something called a male wrap or a belly band. This is what it looks like. It's real simple. It's basically like a rectangle of cloth with some elastic and Velcro. Take the sensor, place it inside with the black facing towards the dog. See how that's set up? Take your clips from the outside, push it in through to the, in between the flaps and put the stainless steel clip in between the flaps. The dog's belly is protected and it helps keep the clip in place. This is all that shows from the outside is this little decorative clip. But on the inside, all your dog is gonna feel is this soft, squishy material. They're not gonna have that scratchy bit against them. So that's on the inside. You do that on both sides. Now, you just take your male dog, you place where you just put the sensor directly against the urine source and pull the Velcro around. And these have been around for years. They, a lot of people use them for dogs that have incontinence in old age or are marking in the house, which is great. Except if you have a dog that you really just want to stop peeing in your house, maybe a dog that's not potty trained or is marking in your house, instead of changing the diaper for the rest of their lives, um, washing it frequently, instead, you can just stop the problem altogether, use this for a few days, and if your dog is really a naughty one, really mischievous, really hard to house train, a few weeks, and you take this off, and your dog's a dog again. And he's not peeing in your house, not peeing in your friend's house, it's a good dog, instead of one that's ruining your home. Well, these are real simple to use. One trick is to put a moisture absorbent pad inside of here so they don't have to wash them so frequently. The best ones to use actually aren't the ones made for dogs. The best ones to use are actually the feminine pads for women. And what you do is you put this pad in and then you put this over top. So the pad would be underneath the sensor, not blocking it. And then if your dog does have an event, you take the pad off, throw this away, and you don't have to wash this as frequently. Another option, and these are great, these actually I prefer more than the washable ones, as much as I hate to admit it because I love the environment, because they're just so easy to use is these things called Wiki Wags. Wiki Wags are a fully disposable mail wrap. So instead of putting a disposable absorbent pad on the inside, the whole thing is disposable. So you put the sensor inside of it, you put it on your dog just like the other one. It has these, they're almost invisible, they're like mad, it's like magic tape. It's like Velcro, but it's not Velcro just like baby diapers, just like if you have a little human baby, you put it on and it really catches every drop of pee and you can take them on and off. So if the dog hasn't peed in your house or set off the alarm, then you can reuse it. But if he does use it, you go, oh, you naughty little monster and you throw this away, put on a new one. There's no mess, no fuss, and it's really simple to use. So these are the wiki wags. Otherwise, you have a washable male wrap or belly band. It's the same thing. And you can use an absorbent pad in those. So that's how to use the housebreaker with a male dog. How to use it with a female dog. We'll show you that next.